We're coming back to the Hal Sparks Radio Program, Mega Worldwide. Oh, my God! They went a little crazy with it, and I appreciate it. So Trump now is... Let's get back sorry. with Hal Sparks Radio Program, Mega Worldwide. <laughs> sorry, I, I get so excited. These, these, these bumpers are so long, they're half the show now. Five eggs! I just don't know why, well, like, why we... What? Can't, you know... I always feel like I'm almost there, and... Wow. I need to jump. Is it time to... In a month. I don't know when it ends. I couldn't, you know. Trans that sucks. Um, well, <laughs> um, so here we are. Uh, we're back and uh, we'll be taking your calls in just a moment. 773-763-9278. So Trump is making the rounds, making calls to all the radio guys. <clears throat> he won't appear on camera except in his weird little message that he gave to the soldiers, which was, if I would have been president, I'd have done this way better. But, you know, I was cheated out of the election. So Sorry. That's, you know, he, it's basically a promo video, which by the way, he didn't forget to watermark with it, with his fundraiser in the corner of the video. So I think, you know, points for branding, which is, uh, to paraphrase Steve Martin, branding is the idiot's version of being interesting. Um, um, Trump, uh, called into Sebastian Gorka's show and floated this whole idea that we keep Bagram. We got to keep Bagram Air Force Base. We gotta, we'll get out. We'll get all of our stuff out, all of our soldiers out, every nut and bolt of every piece of gear, but keep an entire Air Force Base, I guess, stocked with uh, the ghosts of the dead and invisible aircraft from the Wonder Woman collection. I don't know how you leave and stay at the same time, but no one seems to care. So all Sebastian Gorka did was as he always does when Trump is talking, nod and sort of develop a single tear in his eye that Papa is talking to him and, you know, and, and telling him to go get the paper, boy. Papa believes in you. And um, and I, I don't mean go get the paper. I mean, go get the paper, boy. It's a long story. Anyways, the, so he calls in the Hugh Hewitt show. And uh, Trump said, I spoke to and sort of the known head, but nobody was sure. But now I'm sure. And I was sure that when I was speaking to him, I knew as soon as I spoke to him, and even in the introduction, I say hello, and he screamed something very tough. If I am reading this right, Trump, and, and uh, it, he he was talking about Baradar. That's the sentence. I spoke to and sort of the known head, but nobody was sure, but now I'm sure, and I was sure then when I was speaking oh. to him, I knew as soon as I spoke to him, and even the introduction, I say hello, and he screamed something very tough. Trump said, and then he asked me one question, and I'd rather not repeat the question because it's a very scary question, but he asked me one question, and I gave him the answer, yes. Well, what was the... Why, it, what was the question? You can't Will just you help me end the world, right? Are you you're you're not gonna hurt me, are you? Yes. Like what what is the question? A very scary question, and I'd rather not tell you because it's a very My scary guess question. Is, are you willing to do X Y Z horrible things? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> are you willing to abandon women and children so that we can do whatever mm -hmm. we want with them just to get your soldiers out? And Trump's answer was yes. I think you're. I think you're absolutely right in the ballpark. Why? Why would the question? This. This is worth talking about. If he won't mention uh, conjecture, and this is uh, is worthwhile. What would that question be? That's a very scary question. From a that he yelled something very tough, and then asked something very scary, and then Trump finished clutching his pearls and said <laughs> yes. Um, I, I, I seriously. Then he asked me one question. I'd rather not repeat that question because it's a very scary question. <laughs> but he asked me one question and I gave him the answer yes. Uh, a, gibberish. From a, from a geopolitical yeah. standpoint, from a leadership standpoint, from a I'm the Whenever leader I of the- Whenever hear anybody read anything, any transcript, it is maddening to try to keep up. Imagine reading um, Trump statements written out like free health care for illegal Ill 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 or uh, <laughs> the Burmese executives. So these uh, Burmese, Burmese, they say pronounce it Burmese. Michigan gave us Motang. Um. Once it was 
reluctantly aroused. It was hard to get it aroused, and it is hard to get it aroused, but we got it aroused. We're going to be appointing very pro-crime judges. Um, I, don't, I don't remember seeing transcripts uh, in the news. Where, did anybody bother to write those things out? I don't know how you spell look. Um, somebody in the chat will try, I have no doubt. But, um, and then he asked me one question. I'd rather not repeat the, that question because it's a very scary question, but he asked me one question and I gave him the answer, yes. Hey, you know what? The first time somebody asks you to marry them, it's scary. It's a scary, it's unnerving. Are you a virgin? Yeah, are you a virgin? Right. Um, a virgin? There is no reason, um, let's see, where, uh, um, I wanted I wanted to be out by May one. I had spoken to him quite a bit before May one, but we had a condition of May one. But they missed conditions, and so therefore I bombed and we hit them very hard. Trump recalled. Um, there was can I can I just say this unequivocally? Uh, unequivocally, um, there was no point where the conditions would be met. If indeed the conditions Trump says existed existed. There is no circumstance where they can be met because in the case of no Al-Qaeda in the country, you have to prove a negative before we leave. You have to prove to me there's no Al-Qaeda there. And I don't know what do you do. Line everybody up and go, everybody who's, uh, in, who's not in Al-Qaeda take one step forward you know like not so fast abdul right that's the is that the idea there is no way the conditions that trump supposedly set forward in there could have been met and therefore he was never going to get out never and it's it's farcical to believe he was going to and it's also farcical to believe that he had some sort of a strategy when he's Saying things like, I spoke to and I sort of know, uh, and sort of the known head, but nobody was sure, but now I'm sure, and I was sure then when I was speaking to him, and I knew as soon as I spoke to him, and even the introduction, I said hello, and he screamed something very tough. That that person who said that, who uttered that, whatever that was, is the person that had a plan. He can't tell you what it was, but he had a plan. Oh, no. He had a plan. It was such a good plan. It was the perfect plan. And if only he'd been, it, and if time. only the rigged election hadn't been stolen from him by, uh, eight, stolen from the leader of the free world by eight volunteers and the Democratic Party, who apparently are snowflakes who don't know, uh, couldn't find their uh, rectum with both hands in a search party, um, but somehow also <laughs> control the government, all, all branches of government, uh, have control of the puppet strings that control Brett Kavanaugh and others in the Supreme Court, except when they don't. <laughs> Um, run big tech and big corporations, big woke corporations, of course, who are all woke now because they want diversity in their workforce, which sounds very woke. Or it might just be that they want the best workers and some workers were self-selecting out because they thought maybe the com company wouldn't want them because of their yeah, skin color. Like profits. Right, exactly. Um, yeah, you don't actually think Target started uh, um, being mo like having more full-figured uh, models in their ads and mannequins in their stores because they care about health. It's because 60% of the uh, the American public is overweight or obese, and that's the audience. You are selling to them now. It's not because you've come to Jesus and, and had this moment that people should be accepted. That's absurd. Same thing, like, but anyways, I get off, I, I, I digress. But the, the, the Democrats who can't run anything are weak, on crime week against national uh, uh, international terror, uh, can't, you know, is like herding cats, but they always stick together and they own big tech and big corporations, big world corporations, and uh, the entire government. But, uh, and they stole, those folks stole the election from a guy who was the best at everything and knew ISIS better than the generals do taxes better than the IRS? Apparently not. Um, and uh, and and knew more about America than it, and it would only hire the best people. That's right. I forgot about that. I forgot about yeah. the the he it would only hire the best people who all sucked were probably Democrats and only got him coffee when they went to jail, quit, or started 
talking against him. We got to take a break. When we come back, um, uh, one, uh, so many of Trump's... Might have a caller. Oh, that's possible. Let's find out. We'll be back.